Hi everybody, my name is Lucia, Food Security Analyst at WFP and BAM. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the different tools that allow us to collect data remotely from affected populations. At the end of the video, you will know what the various options are. At the moment, at WFP, we use three main tools to collect food security data remotely. These are CATI, which stands for Computer Assisted Telephone Interviewing, SMS, and IVR, which stands for Interactive Voice Response. All of these tools can be used to contact respondents via basic mobile phones, as internet connection or data services are not required. Let's look at each of them in more detail. First, CATI. Basically, these are simple live calls conducted by call center operators. The phone operator initiates the call, presents her or himself to the, to the respondent, and asks food security questions. The replies are recorded in a data entry tool. This easy format means that live calls are the most straightforward of our remote data collection tools. Second, SMS. In this case, the survey questionnaire is transformed into a chain of SMSs. The first question is an SMS that is sent simultaneously to multiple respondents. A respondent then replies to the SMS with their answer to the question. As soon as the reply is received, the system automatically sends out the next SMS. This exchange goes on and on until the questionnaire is finished. All data is saved automatically in a spreadsheet, which can be downloaded for analysis. Finally, we use Interactive Voice Response, IVR, also known as robocalls. IVR are chains of pre-recorded voice messages. Calls are operated automatically by a piece of software that starts the call. When respondents answer the phone, they can listen to the pre-recorded messages and answer questions by pressing the numbers on their phone keypad. All data entered by respondents is then saved automatically by the software in a spreadsheet. CATI, SMS and IVR all have their advantages and disadvantages. In order to choose the best tool, you need to consider who your target population is, what its characteristics are, and what information you want to collect. These tools can also be deployed in-house or outsourced. To decide which type of deployment to go for, you need to consider your office capacity and availability of external providers in your country. These steps will be discussed more in detail later on in the lesson. WFP and BAM is also working to add more tools to its toolkit. In May 2016, we piloted online surveys as a food security data collection tool. The pilot took place in Haiti, and the survey focused on perceptions of food security in metropolitan Port-au-Prince and its surrounding areas. We have also developed a chatbot prototype in partnership with INSTAD, a non-profit organization that creates software for humanitarian and development projects. The chatbot works on chat apps and it will contact people on their smartphone to ask them questions on food security and also to disseminate information. Finally, we have also created a website for Facebook's Free Basic platform. Free Basics is an initiative that aims to bring the internet to the two thirds of the world's population that doesn't currently have access to it. It provides mobile subscribers with free access to a set of basic websites on their phones. Free Basics was piloted by MVAM in Malawi, where users were able to access weekly market price data and market news that MVAM collected through local surveys. The surveys and poll function on the site also allows users to take simple surveys and provide feedback. Thank you very much for watching this introduction to the data collection tools. You will now learn in more detail about the different tools.